Go, go. <laughs> run, Shandy, run. Hello everyone, this is Moses from Zatari Gardens. Uh, it rained uh, yesterday, all day, uh, two days ago, all day yesterday, and all night, and the sun just came out a little while ago, so I decided to make a quick video be to show everyone the difference that rain makes, especially when we got deep flush of rain. Um, one side note, to Sean's not going to be happy about his scarecrow. I gotta fix that before he sees it. Um, he's asleep right now. Uh, but something that n it wasn't like this two, three, uh, excuse me, three or four days ago were, were all these big flush. I mean, there was there it was growing apple, a new uh, espaliered apple I planted in, uh, honey crisp, gala, hot yellow, transparent, and a Fuji. But all this b big time, like flesh of growth didn't happen prior to that and there's a flower come on there we go there's flower buds right there but that didn't happen before and it wasn't that bright well sorry for, let me focus you can see all the flowers are really brighter the parsley is really look how dark I love curly parsley in the garden it's just beautiful I don't know why people don't even plant it as ornamental but look at this dark to light green. Look at that. I do a little close up of it. Isn't that amazing? But uh, it's just everything gets brighter, everything gets bigger, everything gets greener. Just from a couple days. It doesn't take weeks like if you had to fertilize. It just, the, the rain does something. I mean, I haven't done much research, but like right now, these didn't open up. This is a ultra dwarf burgundy plum i mean excuse me ultra dwarf weeping santa rosa plum and the, the buds didn't open up till today these are all closed yesterday they all look like that and they finally started just opening up uh, you know right after a rain um the leaves on the on the blueberries weren't this robust wasn't this red prior to the rain it was more brown. Uh, the the avocado is getting its. I, I pruned it back heavily, like you see the top is chopped back. I, there's a trimmings over there on the floor. Um, but the leaves were really yellow, yellowing because it. it what I've noticed with growing avocado is it, it only it can't really multitask. If it's flowering, it sends all its power to flowering, and the leaves go yellow and limp. So a lot of almost not almost all, but like. At least half the leaves on the tree look like this. And now, they greened up. It wasn't like this four days ago. So, and if you're seeing a lot of brown, this is all the, see the light green? That's a healthy flower. All these are dead from the hard freeze. It's okay, this avocado gives flowers like six months out of the year. Mexicola variety. I mean, you see the, all the, uh, Saturn peach, donut peach flowers are opening up. They were almost all closed a few days ago. And just things that just brighten up. My, my grass is a little bit yellower. I don't really fertilize it that much except with seaweed. Now it's all greening up. Uh, the burgundy, now this is the burgundy plum. Ultra dwarf burgundy plum. This is as tall as it gets. Look how many flowers on this little tree. How productive this is. Look at this. So uh, let's see the current, the red current I have. Uh, the, the sorry, this is a rhubarb, but th that wasn't there before. This right here, that new growth, that wasn't there four days ago. There's the fake snake to protect the potato patch. This growth on the raspberry wasn't here. And more of the growth on the old cane of raspberry, that wasn't there. That wasn't there either, right here. There's another raspberry growing up. I wonder if there's any more. I hope I'm not stepping on anything. Nothing I see, there's another mushrooms. 
I inoculated this wood chips. Oh, there's another raspberry. I've never seen that one before. I inoculated these wood chips a long time ago with edible mushrooms, so I don't know if that's the edible one or not. <clears throat> Wine cap mushrooms. Ow. I just hit my head on the thorn of the jujube. Um, there's red currants pushing out new flowers. And if you haven't had currants before, it's amazing. This is just newly planted, but I've had currants before, not fresh. I have a red currant here and a black currant over there, and I'm gonna show you something right now cool with the black currant. More of the plums growing out. So I planted the black currant as well, which is right here. So I, I, I pruned it because a lot of the limbs, you can see it's growing like this horizontally. A lot of limbs were growing in the wood chips. So a few months ago, I, plant, I uh, pruned it off. Instead of throwing it away, I decided to plant them in the ground with no rooting hormone, nothing, and now look. We'll see if they take. So those are three cuttings from the pruning I did, just planted in the ground, surrounded by wood chips, and hopefully they take. <clears throat> the black currant and red currant, if you guys haven't grown it before. Um, even though it got hit by the hard freeze, it does look like the almonds are gonna do okay. I mean, really pretty, isn't it? Really pretty stuff. Just taking some pictures, sorry. So. The apple grafts are still doing great. There's another one right here. But everything's pushing out growth. They, they didn't grow this much. I like the yellow transparent graft was not like this a few days ago. You see how much growth there is compared to my finger right there? That wasn't like that four days ago. Even the sea berries are producing so much growth. Look at this. Sea buckthorn, sea berries. That wasn't like that four days ago. Amazing. There's the male and two females, different varieties. Happy gardening, everyone. Bye.